Good morning. Today we're going to look at the installation of plugins. First of all, you need to go to Site Administration. And then we are going to go to Plugins and we want to install a new plugin. There's various ways to install a plugin. First of all, you can download the plugin and install it on your, the server site and then just actually activate or um, employ it on the Moodle site. Secondly, you can download the file and then just drag and drop the file to this area here. The third way is to go to your Moodle plugin directory and search the plugin. Let's say we're searching for something on certificates. Let's see if we can find something. I'm running Moodle 2.9, so this is not going to work. A credible certificate. 2.7 okay let's see if we can find something here actually googled it and I found something that said simple so let's see if I can find it there you go simple certificate and it's supporting a Moodle 2.9 so let me download this and I would like to, let's say, install and see if it works. Um, I want to install it on my site. I want to install it on this site. I've got two sites. I want to install it on this site. And you see that you're back in your Moodle testing environment. And install the plugin from the Moodle plugin directory, which is your site and there's a request to install the simple certificate version so and so and so to continue the plugin zip package to be downloaded nothing will be installed let's go and download it and the validation has passed which means that it's that it's compatible to my server version and they think that it will be okay very important um, before you install plugins just ensure that you do make a backup of your site let's install the plugin okay and then if you install your plugins you will always get a list of all the plugins installed on your um, site and you will also see that I need to upgrade my hot pot um, um, version of this um, plugin and the grid format I can also install the update I'm not going to do that now I'm just going to upgrade my Moodle database because I've got an additional plugin it might make changes to my database and this might take a while there you go and it indicates that it's been successful. If it's not successful, at least you've got a backup of your site and you can go back and do an update of your database. Um, it's always nice to have a test salt, a site and then um, you can test your um, plugins there. That's why I had those two sites in the beginning. I just test it on one and see whether it works and then if I'm happy, I actually install it there okay we've seen that there's newer versions of some of my plugins the hot pot so i will go there now and then i will update that great and this is how you install a plugin from a site from the moodle site thank you